I'm Corporal Zachary Bernard Demers from Montreal. I'm an aerospace telecommunication and information systems technician from 14 Wing Greenwood in Nova Scotia. Aerospace Telecommunication and Information Systems Technicians, or ATIS Techs, help create the backbone of communication systems in the Royal Canadian Air Force. They enable all network operations by keeping information systems running smoothly 24-7. This is a critical component of modern military operations. It can mean sending vital information over a multitude of networks, or processing and compiling information to be used by the RCAF and other operators who need to make educated decisions. We basically work with everything that has to do with technology. Everything from a computer and a monitor that's sitting on your desk to networking equipment such as routers and switches, all the way up to working with basically in a systems administrator, working with people's profile, Microsoft Outlook, software, and then all the way over to the airfield side where we work with uh, radar equipment which help the pilots go up and down the runway. This runway 24, Juliet, Mike, Quebec. ATIS techs are highly trained specialists that are often called upon to integrate new systems for the military. They work with radars and navigational aids, as well as radio and satellite communication systems, air defense and air traffic management systems, command and control networks, and data links. Regular force or reserve, ATIS techs ensure the operations, performance, and defense of these integrated systems from the commander to the sensor. Their work is critical for mission success as everything in today's modern battlefield is reliant on information technology and communication integration. Radio test. In today's day and age, uh, an ATIS tech is actually one of the more important facets of the Canadian Forces because communications and technology is taking over and it's upgrading and advancing day in and day out. Especially when it comes to radio communications, network communications, a lot of times um, an ATIS tech is always on site or a part of a bigger team when it comes to people basically managing runways and aircraft. ATIS techs are one of the critical team members that allow senior officers to effectively exercise command and control. They often work in a joint setting with the Army, Navy and Special Operations Forces as well as with military allies such as NORAD and NATO to provide critical technological support. I'd say the coolest part of the job is working with a lot of the technology, seeing what's new, what's upcoming, what's at the forefront for the Canadian Forces, and being involved in a lot of the different tasks and knowing that our trade plays a huge role in basically an entire wing or a base running and working on a daily basis. Once they complete their initial occupation training, ATIS techs are typically posted to an operational unit of the Royal Canadian Air Force, where they get paired with a senior technician to continue their learning on the job. You will get posted to a specific shop, but usually after one to two years, sometimes a little bit longer, you'll get moved into different shops. So being cross-trained in the trade is actually a key element of what we do, and you have to have a bit of knowledge of everything because over your career you will be moved from one facet to another. Some ATIS techs will be employed in high readiness units and master specific deployable systems that are critical for mission success. ATIS techs deploy around the world in support of active military operations and humanitarian efforts. They can also be deployed within Canada to support security or sovereignty operations, as well as to aid civil powers in times of crisis like floods and wildfires. A willingness to learn and keep pace with the ever-changing and evolving world of communications and information technology systems is a key quality of ATIS techs. Ground Troops 5 radio test. So I was on Op Impact in Kuwait and there was a team of eight of us and we had to manage desktop support, networks, classified materials, radios, as well as cell phones, account management, everything that had to do with technology on a daily basis for every member that was deployed with us as well. And it's a very rewarding feeling to know that you were part of that team that went out there and, and basically helped the entire operation be successful. Mm -hmm.